blackout! The Black Ops 4 hype is at an all-time high. Wait, low. And Treyarch are keeping... Okay, let me try and say this correctly. Black Ops 4 Blackout Battle Royale. They're keeping it under wraps, right? They're hiding it more than Activision are hiding that the two leaders of Sledgehammer Games of World War II just left? They just left for Earth? Like, can you imagine if Vondahar just didn't exist anymore? C crazy, crazy. But yeah, it just, it just does seem strange, right, that... Black Ops Battle Royale is supposed to be this huge game-changing, COD-evolving thing, and it- Like, he hello? Like, where is it? So one like and one subscribe equals one prayer to Treyarch Studios to- to revive Call of Duty, then Jesus Christ, are they gonna need that prayer? So let's talk about Easter Eggs and Blackout Battle Royale, because, you know, Battle Royale isn't exactly a, a unique thing anymore, you know, you've got H1Z1, Minecraft Hunger Games, do I have to list all the games? Yes, okay, you, you know, FIFA this year, FIFA what, 19, 20, I don't know, it's probably gonna have Battle Royale, Animal Crossing Battle Royale, there's a lot of competition for Blackout, and Treyarch are known for their dope ass Easter Eggs. So, let's talk about what these Easter Eggs could be, and just five reasons why Blackout Battle Royale should have them. Imagine a Shangri-La Easter Egg in Blackout. So, I see people talking about like, oh, Blackout should have a day and night cycle, like my boy Minecraft. Let's go, Minecraft. Um, yeah, but imagine if the nighttime or daytime was changed by an in-game player, like, uh, decided quest or Easter Egg. Like, maybe there's pressure plates that change different locations throughout the map and you need to find each one within one match and then you know it will turn nighttime there's like meteor showers and that just like Shangri-La and also of course then it would be a zombies throwback easter egg like Tr Treyarch fly me to your studio so I can do cool things now when I say easter egg in blackout it really could be a big thing or just a, a small a small tiny easter egg but that's gonna be one of our reasons why we'll get further into that so let's take a look at reasons why this should just be a thing. And let's be honest, this is Treyarch, this is Call of Duty, so yes, there's gonna be Easter eggs, they're gonna be a thing. So let's get into our number one reason. So when the reveal, when they first told us that Blackout was gonna be a thing, my man Vondahar said something, oh, should I do an impression? Everyone's saying no, but I'll do it anyway. I, I, we're gonna do it for Blackout, Black Ops, wait, we, okay. So yeah, basically Vondahar said, but they're gonna do Battle Royale for Black Ops Way. Okay, so I guess what he means is, you know, it's just gonna be what Black Ops truly is mixed into one. And you know, Black Ops from the campaigns, even the stuff, little stuff here and there, multiplayer, and of course, zombies, Easter eggs is a huge part of that. So if you truly wanna do Battle Royale for Black Ops Way, Easter eggs should play a big ass part. Now reason number two is Easter eggs can tell a story, and we've already confirmed that there's gonna be story in each mode because there's no campaign, and sad times, because as we know, Black Ops 3 was the pinnacle of storytelling in games. Actually, Black Ops 1 was really good, but you know when Dempsey said, there's not a lever, Richtofen, because Richtofen touched his yeah, 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 they've confirmed there's going to be story in every mode. And you know, just like the OG Easter eggs and storytelling in zombies, you know, the little radios that you go and listen to and it tells you a backstory or little, the little cipher messages that some Einstein looking ass needs to solve. But if they did this, a little hidden backstory, just like what happened when zombies first started out, when a blackout just starts out, I mean, thing is, what would, what would be the story, you know? <laughs> what the hell would be the story to Blackout? You know, you have Richtof and Reznov, uh, some specialists fighting out in a big-ass map. Like, what, what what's, what's the story? But still, little easter eggs like that, dope. Now, reason number three is that the peak of human evolution, myself, myself, that's me, says that this is a great way to reward players. You know, imagine if you get a reward for doing or finding one of these in-game easter eggs. Maybe you get a, a skin that no one else can. That's the only way to unlock it, or a camo, or a weapon variant, or something like that that ha makes players look at you and go, damn, that guy's a god and he's done something strange. And then once everyone finds out what it is, then everyone's gonna be trying to do that in-game quest to get rewarded, and it will just be Amazing, right? See, if, if Treyarch are sitting there making Blackout in a rush and they're not thinking of these dope ass ideas, then what are they doing?
So talking about Treyarch rushing things, I see a lot of people saying that Blackout started being made in January of this year, which I'm not sure, I thought it might have been last January, I don't think it really matters, but people are saying, and people of course are just going to say, that Blackout Battle Royale is only in the game because uh, PUBG or Fortnite are popular, it's, they're just rushing to get this in the game, cram it in, follow the trend, and that's the thing, maybe that's what Blackout truly is, but if it has easter eggs and has this depth to it, has a uniqueness to it, then it will show that it it actually is something special, and I'm, I've been speaking for almost two minutes without stopping. I'm, I'm dying out here. So Treyarch, just show, put, put effort into it and Easter eggs, yeah, yeah, yeah. And reason number five is to wow people. That's wow people. I repeat, wow. So, you know, there was an in-game event recently, um, in-game, a certain, <laughs> certain rocket launch that really wowed people. So imagine if there was an Easter egg, like a, like, kind of like that, like a, a gradual timing thing that happens in-game with, you know, the little story teases and hints that leads up to a big in-game event. What, you know, it could be like a, a imagine, I, I just had this idea, if uh, the Blackout map at some point gets nuked, and then after that, Blackout's completely changed to be a post-apocalyptic vibe thing. And we could have an East- Wow, this is actually a great idea. What the hell? I should pivot this at the start so everyone hears this, right? So there could be like this in-game event where the map gets nuked and they could have this Easter egg and these hints leading up to that event. Wow, that's actually like amazing. Fortnite's gonna steal my memes, aren't they? But anyway, lads, that's why Blackout Battle Royale should should have should have Easter eggs to to wow people, show them that Blackout is something special, show them that the passion and the time is into it, and people should be playing this damn game because it should be awesome. So anyway, lads, stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one.